How to destroy the M1 Abrams. There is no one at the sixth rank eager to face this vehicle in battle. Having heard its distinct engine sound, T-64s rush for cover. A third generation main battle tank named for General Crichton Abrams, the M1. Or just Abrams if you're really close. It is undisputably one of the toughest opponents in the game. A well-armored and well-armed tank that is pretty fast and mobile to boot. The Abrams excels at capturing zones and performing flanking maneuvers. But even this enemy can be dealt with. First piece of advice. When playing against an Abrams, always be on the lookout for it. The M1 isn't the smallest vehicle. An observant tanker will be able to spot it from afar. Second piece of advice. Never leave your side open. You can say that it's the kind of advice that can be applied to any rank or at any level of play. Keep in mind, though, that while fighting at considerable distances, your chances of eliminating a target with one single shot are, <laughs> well, not that great, to say the least. Don't make it easier for your opponent by showing the most vulnerable and the most visible part of your tank. Third piece of advice. Keep your ears open. The M1 is known to give away its presence by a loud engine sound. If you're approaching a position that an enemy Abrams might be occupying at that moment, then cut the music on your own engine sounds to the max. Here you can say, wait, all this advice is just about spotting an M1 or surviving the engagement. Is that all we can do? No, nope. there are plenty of ways you can destroy it. Fourth piece of advice. At this rank, almost every gun is capable of penetrating Abram's armor from the side. Engaging this beast from the front, though, is a completely different story. Basically, you have three options. First, shoot at its gun. Second, target the mantlet, hoping to do some damage to the gun breech. By the way, if you aim at the right side of the mantlet, which is going to be on your left, there is a slight chance of destroying the enemy with a single shot. Third, and this is the most challenging, is to land a shot right under the mantlet. Do you see this notch? There is only a thin layer of armor here that can be penetrated by almost any shell used at this rank. By the way, it's also the only spot that doesn't only allow you to destroy the enemy's gun breach, but also gives you the chance of getting rid of several crew members. And if you're really lucky, to one-shot the whole thing. Really good at hitting all these spots at will? <laughs> Great! Now it's time to take care of another big problem. The fact that the Abrams will try to slip away under the cover of smoke. There isn't much you can do to prevent your enemy from doing that, so you have to wreck enemy tracks right after you disable the gun. After that, the only thing left to do is to reposition yourself to deliver the last blow through the side. Fifth piece of advice. What you certainly shouldn't do is shoot at the lower front plate. Yeah, a good hit will eliminate the enemy driver, but you won't do much damage on the whole and the Abrams fast-firing gun will make short work of you afterwards. Sixth piece of advice. Do not be afraid. Yeah, it's a fearsome adversary, but remember, it's not the tanks that win battles. It's the people who control them. Now, a few words about defeating the Abrams using one of its common rivals. Let's start with the Soviet T-64B. As you remember from one of our previous videos, the T-64B doesn't do reverse, which means that the usual peek out of cover, fire a shot, get back to cover routine doesn't really apply here. You've several solid options though. If this is a long range engagement, try to get the most out of your gun. It really is amazing after all. And don't forget to use ATGMs to target the enemy's weak points. If it's going to be a close quarters kind of thing, don't hesitate to set a smoke screen. If you prefer the German Leopard 2K, you'd do well not to meet the M1 face to face. It won't be easy to survive a retaliation strike. 
What you can do is to use your mobility to flank the son of a uh, uh, gun. Get there, fire a couple of shots, and it's done. The British Challenger isn't as agile, but this machine doesn't really need it. A well-armored turret and a very precise gun mean that you can survive even the most vicious of attacks. You just have to find a spot which allows you to utilize your strengths, like this place here. Peek out with your turret and wait for them to come. If you use the AMX-30 or the Type 74, well, let's say you don't have much room for error. You have to be perfect or enlist the help of a teammate or simply avoid the engagement at all. Do you have tips or strategies of your own? Tell us in the comments below.